The German tank is found and the T-26 hits its mark. The German tank is hit squarely and as the gunner tries to escape, the second shell cuts off his leg. The driver and assistant clamber to escape as another shot is fired. Burning alive, the gunner lies over the edge of his coffin on wheels while his companions run for cover. And the concussion from the 90 millimeter gun is so great, camera steadiness is impossible. And in the film, you can see the armor-piercing shell going through the bottom of the picture on the still shots. The first shot went in and cut the, the legs off of the tank commander in the, in the Tiger. The second shot, and immediately the, the driver and the bow gunner, the trap, door, the, the doors, trap doors flew open, and they climbed out, but a second shot had gotten, the shrapnel had gotten them too. Uh, one fella fell over a bicycle that was laying there on the ground that remains of an old bicycle and he died right there. But the driver got around to the back side of a building and he, he died there. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the gunner, had, the, the tank commander that had uh, his legs cut off, of course, just laid on top of his tank and burned up right in front of the camera there. It was just unbelievable. That thing was burning even the next morning. After it was all over, there was still smoke coming out of it because it had so much ammunition and whatnot in it. <laughs>